in this tutorial i will show you how you can design a function that can detect clipped signal and return start and end point of the clipped segment first of all we need to detect if there is any clipping in our signal or not to do so we will apply a threshold and save the points which are above the given threshold the value of this threshold will be given by the user and is considered to be the sensor maximum value so the code will look like this The function will return the values which are above the threshold. The next step is that we have to detect the end of each clipped signal segment. Before going into details, let's see this example. Suppose we have a signal which is clipped at 4 points 1, 2, 3 and 4. And after running our first line, we get clipped entries like this. We will have indexes and we will have different points. The next step is to detect the end of each clipped segment. For that, you can see here that if we try to subtract each entry from the above entry, we will get one if we are within a clipped segment and the difference will be greater than one if we are start at the start of new segment in this way we can detect the end of the segment so here we will code that whenever the difference between two entries in the clipped entry array is greater than one save the index of the previous entry like here three here whenever the difference will be greater than one the index of the previous entry will be saved eight and then similarly here 12 and as it is the last one so it will have 16 here let's code for this This code returns two columns. In the first column, we have all the entries whose difference is less than one. And in the second column, we have all the entries whose difference is greater than one. So I have kept the second column. Next step is to detect the clipped segment. To do so, we will need to run a loop. The length of this loop will be dependent on the number of entries in the end of segment array, which is here here you can see it is 4 because we have 4 clipped signal so the value of the first clip signal here is 10 and 13 which is entry in the clipped signal first column first row and first column fourth row but we have to generalize this so to generalize we will use the end of segment array so the first segment will be in between clipped entry first column first row and clipped entry first column and row whose value is equal to the first entry of the end of the segment which is 3 let's code for this So in this way, the first segment entries will be recorded. The start point will be clipped entry 00, which is here 10. And the end will be clipped entry first column and third row because end of segment first entry is 3. So it will pick 3 from here and then we'll go to the index 3 and we'll get 13 so we will have 10 and 13 in the first segment similarly the last in the last segment the i value will be 3 and the value which we want is 111 and 114 so the start point will be clipped entry first column and end of the segment one previous value that is not 16 it, it should be 12 plus 1 because the end segment starts at 13 and the, on the index 13 the value is 111 well for the end point we can directly call the last row of the clipped entry so the end point will be first column last row of the clipped entry let's code for that
so here you can see that for the last segment the input will be picked from clipped entry first column and i minus 1 plus 1 which will be 1 previous then the ith value is 12 and plus 1 is 13 while for the last entry we have picked first column and the last entry so it will come to the first column and the last entry is 1 on 4 so in this way we can get the last segment let's code for the in between one so for the in between one the i will be one and two so let us consider that i equals to one and the second segment values are 44 and 48 the 44 is placed at clipped entry first column and fifth row as we are going to use the end of segment for the coding so i will write clipped entry first column and for the rows go to end of segment i minus one value to get it here is 3 and plus 1 because it starts from 4 and similarly the end point is clipped entry first column and end of the segment ith entry because it ends at 8 so we will keep it as ith entry so this will work for the both if we consider i equals to 2 so the entries are 78 and 81 condition we have put in is clip entry first column and end of entry i minus 1 which is 8 plus 1 it will give us 9 and similarly for the end we are keeping the end segment ith value which is 12 and here at the 12 we have 81 so this will work for both let's code it let us return the values at the end so in this way this function will return the values of the start and end point of a clipped signal i hope you would have liked this tutorial please press the like button comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you